the best car I ever had was a, a 1963 S Series Valiant that was, we know it's running the people now from my younger days, they still ask me about that car and um, how good a car it was for its time and how popular it was. Um, yeah, so I was um, quite a legend back in those days. I'm Mike Urey, um, this is my 1965 Ford Falcon Futura convertible. I've had this car for around six years now. Uh, it's one of only around 6,000 they made in 1965 because the uh, Mustang popularity killed the uh, Falcon in America. So they concentrated more on making Mustangs than this particular car. Um, it's basically a Mustang in a different body style than the Mustang that everybody knows. It's probably more practical in its layout with more seating and accessibility, um, but it has exactly the same performance being a 289 C4. The reason I bought this car is I've always liked Fords. I sold Fords back in the um, 80s, and, um, oh, late 70s and 80s, um, and um, it's probably, I'm a one brand person, so I've always stuck to that. It's a really um, crowd-pleasing car. Everywhere I go, people come up to me and um, show their appreciation and tell me how nice the car looks. Um, uh, it's been on a few TV shows, um, in the papers. I think for the last four years I've done public, um, Curly Rocks promotions with the cars with different people in it. And every year at Curly Rocks, I have either a Curly Rocks contestant or a, uh, some celebrity driving around the track. Last year I had, or well, last time it was on, I had um, Jim Richards, the clerk, of course, of course for Curly Rocks, as my uh, passenger. Uh, that was interesting, catching up to him and hearing all his achievements and um, why the crowd appreciated him going around the track. The thing that got me in the cars when I was a, a teenager, my, a neighbour of mine was a mechanic and um, he was into hot rodding standard type cars so he did up a um, 1939 Ford uh, four door car and put a, um, took the side valve motor out and put in a, a 292 uh, Y block Ford um, engine that had been highly modified with um, Back in those days, triple carbies and special exhaust and uh, uh, roller rocker cams. Um, and it was a really fast car for its day. Um, and we used to drive around with him going to the, the speedway at um, Sydney on Saturday nights. 
um, and just cruise around. And then he started um, modifying cars for a, a man called Bill Warner, who, if, if you've ever heard of um, uh, hot rod racing back in the, the showground days, Bill Warner Jr. was um, had a hot rod, um, a T model Ford with a highly modified motor, and it used to win every race. They used to start in one lap back in the in the race, and he would still win the race in a ten lap race. He would still win. Um, so um, the, he, my neighbour, started um, doing mod modifications for him. So he would fit, take out a say a Chev motor, a 283 Chev motor, and put in a, a 327 with a supercharger on it. And then we'd help him do it at night time and then um, drive around the block in it and um, get the first experience of this car with a new power plant. So that sort of got me into, um, into cars. got my own license so I started playing with cars myself and uh, I bought an X-Speedway motor and put into a, an FC Holden so it was a ridiculously over uh, powered engine for its for a car, a street car it had triple SU carvies on it and a, um, a big cam and block but it was totally unreliable and you know just something you do when you're you know, starting out but um, I graduated from there The best car I ever had was a, a 1963 S-Series Valiant that was, we know from running the people now from my younger days, they still ask me about that car and um, how good a car it was for its time and how popular it was. Um, yeah, so I was um, quite a legend back in those days.